Good morning, it is 10.35 a.m. and I am just waking up and getting out of bed with the same clothes that I was wearing yesterday. First things first is I always have to use the bathroom after I wake up. Next we go down to the main area and get our little kitty Olive some food so she may have some breakfast also. And when I say breakfast, you mean our quote unquote coffee. We do not drink coffee. What I have here is called Creo Brew. Instead of coffee beans, it is ground cacao beans, but it still has the around the same effect as regular coffee. While that is steeping for 10 minutes, I go downstairs to the gaming area. Gotta say hi to little Olive. Next, I need to start exporting my videos to YouTube, but unfortunately I can't do that on my own computer because it's a potato and it can't export a video longer than 10 minutes. So I basically have to transfer the video to my computer to my husband's computer. But first, little Olive is looking like she wants something in the bathroom, which of course is always water from the faucet. And I am an enablist, and I always give her the water. Look how cute she is! She's always deserving of the fresh water because she's cute. We make our way over to the man cave and start importing the video so I can export it as an mp4 file. It's still gonna take about two hours to export the video, so that's why we start it early. It has now been about 10 minutes and it's time to get the Creo Brew out of the French press. I always struggle trying to press down the fresh press, so we will skip that part. And we are drinking out of this beautiful Navi mug. After our coffee, it's only about 11 a.m., so we have time to kill before we need to start getting ready for our concert this evening. Now it's time to go to our messy bathroom to get in the shower and start getting ready for our outing this evening. I want to show you how small our shower is in our master bathroom. This thing can not even hold one person. After we shower, you know, we gotta do our after shower care. We gotta moisturize. I normally do this with hardly any clothes on, but I couldn't really do that for TikTok. A little tidbit about me. I am usually watching something while I get ready, so you are looking at me through the lens of my phone while I am watching. Today, we were watching good old Danny Phantom. Go ahead and comment if you have watched Danny Phantom before. Now, we normally just do the normal routine as everybody else. We blow dry our hair, put on our makeup, make ourselves look presentable to the world. And I am nowhere near good with makeup, so this is how I do my makeup. It is very basic. Next, we gotta put in our cute little earrings. We're going with some cat earrings today to match with our little cat shirt that we have. My hair is naturally somewhat straight, but when I blow dry it, it like curls out, like the ends curl out, so I gotta get those straight. And now we are ready to hit the town, looking cute as ever. We have driven about an hour all the way to Salt Lake City to the venue called The Union. We are both excited. We have parked our car close to the venue and now we are walking to our dinner reservation. Cause we gotta eat too! The Red Iguana is where we got our dinner reservation, and it is killer Mexican food. Look how good this looks. Mason is super happy that I'm recording him eating. It is now about 4 o'clock and we are in line to get into the venue, but gates don't open till like 5.30. I skipped that hour and a half and we are now in the venue. We got here early enough so we were able to get some merch and get a good spot. But we were unable to keep those spots as people decided to do some mosh pits while the openers were playing. There were in total three openers. The first one was Within Destruction, which was a very heavy metal band, which I was not into. The second one is Rain City Drive. They were actually really good. Might have to look them up. The third band was Sim, S-I-M. They categorized themselves as reggae punk from Japan. They were actually really good. 
This band sings one of the openings to Attack on Titan, which they actually sing for us tonight, which was really cool. Now it is time for the main act. They are called Dance Gavin Dance. I started listening to them in about 2020 and they quickly became one of my favorite bands, believe it or not. Dance Gavin Dance is categorized as Swancore. They have one singer that does the melodic singing and another that does the screamo parts. I enjoyed Dance Gavin Dance mainly for the melodic singer. I think he's really talented and I enjoy the melody in many of the songs. One of the best things that they did in this concert is that each of them, while the other person was singing, they each did a little dance and that was so cool. The husband was also getting very into it. I am relatively new to the band and didn't know all of the songs that they played tonight, but the ones that I did know, you can hear me singing in the background. Well, rather screaming the lyrics. Is some more of me singing in the background. Plus, this song is amazing. Towards the end of the concert, they said they were going to sing one more song, but after the crowd was screaming and chanting, one more song, they came back out and sang two more songs, which I fully believe was planned. Overall, it was a great concert and a great ending to a great night. Thank you all so much for watching my first ever vlog post.